Today we're here at the Sydney Opera House to meet someone special. We don't know who it is, but we know they're in the list. So, let's find out who's in the lift. Hi. Come in, have a seat. Hi, my name's Ziggy. My name's Nina. My name's Emma. Oh, my name's Jess. Nice to meet you, Emma. Nice to meet you too, Jess. What do you think my job might be? I think you do the drums. I do play the drums, that's right. But I play more than drums. I play all these other instruments as well. And they all belong to the same family of instruments. We call them percussion instruments. When did you learn to play percussion? Uh, I've been playing percussion maybe about 30 years or so. That's a long time, isn't it, to be playing something? Yeah. <laughs> Do you play any instruments, Nina? Um, Daddy's trying to teach me how to play guitar. I only know a few chords. How many instruments do you play? Um, I probably play thousands of instruments, believe it or not, because being a percussionist means you've got to play lots of different instruments. One day I, I may have to play the drum kit with a rock band, and then the next day with the Sydney Symphony I've got to come and play the orchestral bass drum or the glockenspiel. So I've got a shed at home full of instruments, literally thousands of instruments. What's your favourite instrument? I love playing the cajon, which is just this wooden box. They often call it a, a drum kit in a box because you can play drum beat grooves. It's very cool when you play it. Oh, thank you. You probably <laughs> play it like this. Go crazy like this. What are those instruments over there? Oh, okay, well these, these instruments are like sound effects instruments and they make lots of wacky sounds. Sometimes percussionists have to make the sound of little birds. Sometimes we have to make sort of creepy sounds. So this is an instrument called the waterphone. It sounds like a horror movie. You know what? It's interesting you say that because I've recorded that on two or three horror movies. But other people think it sounds a bit like whales singing too, which is not so scary. So Nina, this is what we call an orchestral bass drum. It's one of the biggest percussion instruments and I love playing this instrument. It's like the heartbeat. So we use these fluffy mallets. Can you take both of those? I'll tell you, tell you what, give it a big wop right in the middle there. How cool is that? I love that sound. And sometimes we can get the sound of thunder and we do that by playing one mallet after the other. Do you think you can do that? There it is, that's excellent. Can I do one more? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty loud. So a drum roll, whenever a drummer does a drum roll, it looks like they're going really fast, but they're not. If you look at my wrist, they're going quite slow, but what I'm doing is I'm letting the stick buzz. Like that. So what I'm doing is two with each. They're not going that fast. Do you reckon you could try that? Yeah. Do you know what this is called? No. It's called a glockenspiel. Glockenspiel? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I heard that one. Have you before. heard that word before? Do you know what it means? No. It's a German word and it means bell play because it sounds like you're playing bells. Thanks for showing me all your percussion instruments. My pleasure, Nina. I had a great time. Thanks for showing me the drums, Jess. Thanks for telling me about your job, Jess. It was my pleasure, Emma. I had a great time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.